Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 6 amazing all new 2024 Suzuki motorcycles first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The new Suzuki GSX-S 1000T looks like a bona fide Kawasaki vs. 1000 killer. Back in 2021, Suzuki stirred the pot with an interesting trademark filing for a new 1000 cubic centimeters motorcycle, dubbed the GSX-S 1000T. It would sit between the GSX-S 1000 and the GSX-S 1000 GT, serving duty as an inline for adventure tourer to rival the Kawasaki vs. 1000. Though Suzuki has remained tight-lipped since then, it looks like the Japanese giant is finally ready to launch the new Gixxer soon. We say this because the first-ever spy shots of the ADV Tourer have now surfaced on the internet, revealing plenty of juicy details. These also hint at an imminent launch by the end of 2023. While we can't use the images, copyright violations for the win, the most noteworthy element in the spy shots is the design. Unlike the naked, the teeth flaunts brawny bodywork, complete with a massive top fairing and edgy side panels. No, these don't come from the GSX-S 1000 GT and feature an all-new shape to set it out from the rest. Also, there's no lower cowl here, as seen on the GT. Other than this, a closer look reveals a new headlight and windscreen. The former has vertically stacked LEDs, reminiscent of the GSX-S 1000, while the latter appears to be an all-new unit with manual adjustability. The company is coming up with its newest 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050. With a design appropriate for people who enjoy adventure on two wheels, the motorbike represents a major upgrade. See more below about the new 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050 model. What's new in the new 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050? Before, let's give some information about the arrival of the model in USA. The debut of the 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050 in USA lands will happen soon, although the priority is to launch the new model in Europe. In this way, admirers of Suzuki motorcycles need to wait a bit. Meanwhile, we already have relevant information about performance, which has a super modern and innovative structure. Tires, in turn, bring an important modification. On Suzuki's newest model, they are mixed use, so they can adapt to any type of soil. With regard to the engine, we cannot fail to mention, for example, the bold and modern accessories. The windshield, then, has been revised in attention to the modernity that the company wants to reinforce. Sophisticated equipment of the new model. Continuing to talk about the new parts, we can also mention the alloy wheels of the Suzuki V-Strom 1050. They bring an extra convenience to be able to travel on different soils. The rear wheel measures 17 inches, while the front wheel measures 21 inches. Furthermore, the suspension is another strong point, as it ensures that the car is at a safe distance from the ground. The handlebars, in addition, now stand out for being wider, in the same way as the footrests. Incidentally, it should be noted that the suspension of the new V-Strom 1050 model 2024 has been updated, with greater travel. Suzuki France has taken the wraps off the new special edition of the GSX-8S middleweight street bike. It comes with a livery that is fancier than the standard model along with a bunch of accessories. Although this bike won't come to India anytime soon, we have compiled a few drool-worthy images and details of the motorcycle for enthusiasts. While the overall bodywork is the same as the standard bike, it is adorned with a special Suzuki Endurance Racing Team livery that celebrates the company's success in the Endurance World Championship EWC. These decals enhance the visual appeal of the motorcycle and make it look even more muscular, especially around the fuel tank section. The accessories featured on this edition as standard include tank pads, a windscreen, and a tail tidy kit that are more of visual elements than functional. 
The mechanical specifications of the GSX-8S CERT edition are unchanged and it continues to be powered by a 776 cubic centimeters parallel twin liquid-cooled engine that delivers a maximum power and peak torque output of 81.8 brake horsepower and 78 newton meters, respectively. Adding to the ease of use are some crucial electronic aids like a traction control system, up and down quick shifter, an easy start system, low RPM assist, and three riding modes. Underpinned by a steel tubular frame, the bike rides on 17-inch alloy wheels suspended by USD forks and a monoshock, both sourced from KYB. Stopping power comes from Nissan calipers at both ends. With the Suzuki GSX-8S now available in nearly all parts of the world, it's safe to say that the Japanese manufacturer has broken the stigma of it sitting on its laurels when it comes to innovation. You could go as far as saying that the new middleweight naked bike sets a new standard in the category. Named after the Japanese term for Peregrine Falcon, which Suzuki says also inspired the bike's wind-cheating body, the 2024 Suzuki Hayabusa returns with the liquid-cooled 1,340 cubic centimeters transverse inline 4 with DOHC and 4 valves per cylinder. When we road-tested the 2022 Hayabusa, it made 173 horsepower at 9,800 rpm and 106 lbft of torque at 6,900 rpm on Jet Tuning's rear-wheel dyno. While the Hayabusa's ergonomics are not ideal for long days in the saddle, its creamy smooth engine transmits very little vibration to the rider, and its enormous boxy mufflers keep noise to a dull roar, our reviewer wrote. When hard on the gas, the four-piece band plays a lively tune, but otherwise the Suzuki sounds relaxed and understressed. The 2024 Suzuki Hayabusa also has a six-speed gearbox mated to a SAS-style clutch system, Suzuki Ram Air Direct Intakes for pressurized air induction, ride-by-wire, the Suzuki Intelligent Ride System with electronic rider aids, including cruise control and the three-mode bi-directional quickshifter system, and three preset and three customizable ride modes, among a host of other features. The bike has adjustable KYB suspension, Brembo Stylema radial mount for piston calipers, biting dual 320mm floating front discs, and a Nissan one piston caliper and 260mm disc in the rear. ABS is standard. Unique to the 25th anniversary model from a badging and branding standpoint are a 25th anniversary emblem and raised Suzuki logos on the fuel tank, 25th anniversary logos etched on each muffler, and the Hayabusa Kanji logo applied to the drive chain plates. The bike also has gloss black cowling trim, gold anodized brake rotor carriers and drive chain adjusters. The versatile Suzuki V-Strom range is expanding and will shortly include a ripping entry-level learner-approved machine. The Suzuki V-Strom family is certainly going to steal some headlines in 2023, with four new models to go on sale in Australia, the single-cylinder V-Strom 250SX and multi-cylinder V-Strom 800D, V-Strom 1050 and V-Strom 1050DE Trio. The versatile Suzuki V-Strom range is expanding and will shortly include a ripping entry-level learner-approved machine. The Suzuki V-Strom family is certainly going to steal some headlines in 2023, with four new models to go on sale in Australia, the single-cylinder V-Strom 250SX and multi-cylinder V-Strom 800D, V-Strom 1050 and V-Strom 1050 DE Trio. The quarter-liter machine, with the S standing for sports and the X4 crossover, will officially go on sale in March 2023 for a tasty $6,490 right away but Suzuki Australia pulled some levers to get a pre-production unit to Oz for some early launch activity. Although we were confined to a small closed-loop circuit on private property to ride the V-Strom 250SX, licensing restrictions and all, it was a large enough sample size to realize that Suzuki is introducing a nifty little price fighter which is light, manageable, and well-mannered. No constant battle with managing an abundance of power here, instead it's fun, playful and practical. In other words, very LAMS friendly, and all about finesse rather than fury. Suzuki has always done its own thing with its V-Strom Adventure Touring family, not getting drawn into the vortex of mimicking its major competitors. 
The versatile card has served it well, with over 430,000 units sold globally since 2002. Suzuki previously announced its plans to withdraw completely from racing. This was almost always true, as the brand withdrew from the most prestigious two-wheel racing series, MotoGP. However, the Japanese manufacturer decided that it would continue its racing prowess in the EWC with the very successful Suzuki Endurance Racing Team, currently fourth in the 2023 standings. In the fall of 2022, Suzuki released a special edition Hayabusa inspired by the iconic Bold Dior Endurance Race in France. This time, with summer in full swing, Suzuki has unveiled yet another limited edition sports machine. This time, the Japanese manufacturer has released a race edition of the popular naked bike, the GSX-S1000. Here, we find a unique color inspired by the Suzuki Endurance Racing Team, as well as the addition of some upgrades to give the bike a sportier feel and better performance. With the Suzuki GSX-S1000 Race Edition, Suzuki has transformed the standard GSX-S1000 into a track-ready machine. For starters, it gets a new rear end to provide a sportier line, as well as a full set of engine and crankcase guards from GB Racing. Of course, nothing expresses track readiness more than a seat fairing, as well as red-painted Brembo calipers. To offer the bike a little more noise, the Race Edition also includes an Acropovic exhaust system. On top of all this, the limited edition Naked Sport Bike includes a numbered Cert FW plate and a welcome pack that includes a hat and a t-shirt. From a performance standpoint, nothing really changes, as the race edition is essentially a cosmetic upgrade kit, with the exception of the Acropovic system, which could add maybe 2 or 3 horsepower. That said, Suzuki's 999 cubic centimeters liquid 